So yo, 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 welcome back to another Snacks Reviews. This is my second time recording this. I did the first replay. Um, the person that we are recording won that replay. And then, um, so basically the reason I'm recording, you know, re-recording this, re 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 whatever, fuck it. The reason why I'm redoing this is because, uh, the, the Terados does not want his name to be, um, uh, released he doesn't want me to show his name or say his name so I'm not gonna do that I turned off the hood so nobody can see the the names of the characters uh, basically I I was gonna I was gonna turn off game capture so I could pull up the next replay so nobody sees the names like in the replay in the replay section but I fucking opened up the replay section why before I turned off the game capture but he won that game anyway so and that's totally fine um, I already checked. He did lose this game, so maybe there's there's a little bit of knowledge, you know, I could knowledge or advice I can provide in this um, you know, Tarot Satori matchup, which I think uh, if the Tarot's plays right, I think Tarot's could win, but I think generally Hattori's might have a good chance. I mean, Neutral Sig, new, Hammer on Neutral Sig can really destroy any Neutral Sig, you know. Um. Any Nutrisake that Hattori can throw up. Well, let's get into it. Three, two, one, brawl! Alright, so, so, basically a, a quick pattern that I'm noticing is that you like to... You like to recovery prematurely into into the ledge, and basically the game that you won, you got punished twice for it, you know. And here you didn't get punished for it, but it isn't. It is something that I think you should watch out for when you're doing it, um, because in the first game the Tori did hit you with a neutral stick and you died, and then the other time it, the Tori ground pound into you. So kind of be careful in how you um. And how you recover to the stage with axe. You don't really need to burn recovery that early sometimes. You know, just jump into the ledge here. And then depending on where your opponent is, you could do recovery or what they do. But um generally try to be try to be, you know, you know, don't pull the trigger too early on recovery. <laughs> Alright, so one thing I wanna notice here is that not notice but show here is that when you land this you have to uh or show stun turn you have to confirm this damage you know man you have to confirm this damage like you fell backwards right and look at all the stun that he has there's so much stun when you could have just you know you could have hit it and then understood that you had the range and and the uh the the advantage to go for a sair. So you gotta confirm that damage, you know. You have to confirm that damage on axe. Especially if you land Nair. So if you throw out a Nair, it hits, you gotta be ready to confirm that damage. Either with a dare or a sair. Because it, those combos are true. I, I'm pretty sure those combos are true. Especially at this uh this early HP. Alright, so let's turn that off. Another thing that I want to point out is that these dodges that you do, they they were good for the old dodge, but with the new dodge system, uh, these dodges are not that good. Like this, like this dodge, it, old system, it would have been good, but there's just too many frames and it's too slow to cover up the space that you're trying to get. So like doing a non-chase dodge to approach is really, really tough now. You know, especially with Taros and, you know, and the fast carry Dogatory. So try to be careful when you do those. Yeah, you, you got caught out. 
Nothing much you could do there. Okay. You started up a SIG. I don't know if... Usually SIGs are like... Like punish reads, you know? Especially on Taros, the side SIG. Oh, you got a ground pound nose, man. When they're... Generally, when they're recovering... So... Here's another quick tip. All right, so look, when they're recovering, like, so you have, you see this distance that they have to make here. So the Tories here, they have to make this distance, right? And there's not, there's not many ways they can go, right? I mean, they, he could go straight up, right? But then he might not make it to the stage. So generally, they're gonna go you know directly towards the stage and this is really good for X but they have, you have to have a ground pound that can uh, cover up so much space so what happens is when you get these when you get these little far knockdowns find out where they have to make it so basically you know look at where they have to make it and try to intercept it with a ground pound like cuz you're gonna have this circle hitbox here right and then if you miss if you burn a dodge you know then you can turn around and go for another circle you know uh another big hitbox with recovery and this is and this is why axe off stage is really really good too so you basically go here you drop down with big hitboxes all the way through here right so you don't hold it when you you don't you don't hold it when it gets close you do it before he gets here so you can cover space you know if you go straight up you're going to cover the space with the hitbox there you're going to you, you know you're going to spiral down and then as he gets when you finish down here you're gonna jump and then jump recovery and then cover up this more space you know but here you go for dare you know like he, he went straight up when you could have had covered all of this instead of instead of going for one spot you can cover more hitboxes if you did it the other way see now you did it now you did it here so let me show you let me show you where you went wrong here so Basically, if we cycle through, all right. So if we go back a little bit, now look, he's here, right? And he has to go here, right? He, he's basically gonna go. He, he's not really gonna go up because he doesn't need that much space. He just has to get to this ledge, and you cover the up route, you know. Instead of covering the wall because he has to, he has to basically get to the wall. You basically cover this area, right? You see. You covered all of this, and he just jumped straight to the wall past you. What you should have did is maybe, like, this, you know... Oh, so I mentioned this in another one. Instead of jumping off the wall and getting to this area, use your movement to fall off the wall and then jump to cover up this area. So it's it's a little technical thing that you have to do. Instead of jump off the wall, use your, like, press you know left or you know go left on the analog stick fall off the wall then jump and you cover up the space kind of dead there I think and I think he did a non chase dodge into him maybe I'm really sure don't try to punish that sig I, I always I always run away from that sig this sig is like super free for Hattori and even I don't really know how to punish it yet Should've did down light, gotta get that free damage. Oh, okay, you punished, that was a good punish. All right, I really appreciate that, sick. Oh, that was a nice X pivot.
So it seems like you're getting way too close to him with hammer, you know? Like hammer right now, it, it's really good by um by having these spacey stairs, you know, because you, you it feels like you're jumping into him to push your hitbox into him with uh the hammer. And that's okay with axe, but axe and hammer play differently. They, they have they have generally the same play style, but they play differently. I'm gonna turn off uh, game capture here. I'm gonna keep talking. It's black screen. I know black screen, black screen, right? So we're gonna close this. But the way that they say it, it's completely different. Let's open up this one. Pause it. You know, and I'll, I, I, after these replays, I'll try to play. I'll play a, a game of Terra to, to show you exactly what I mean. So they do play on the same map, same people, same map, and they sent in four different replays. So I am going to be talking about this, like, on the same uh, character, same map. We're still watching the Terros. Okay, you get the string. That's fine. Oh, that, that turnaround there was really good. All right, so a quick rule for there is that you want to be facing them when you dare, right? So you're going for these turnaround dares, and those are good if you plan on floating through him, just like there, right? Just when I needed to, just when I needed to explain it, right? Right? Okay. See, look, instead of you, you floated backwards here and you faced him right you you have to dare the direction you think they're gonna you think you're gonna be facing them and that that's that's how you want to play axe or that's how you want to play the dare right so you do it here so you dodge through nice chase dodge and then you turn Th this dare was super good right you know, generally this dare was super good. I mean, you, I think you get punished here, but the idea of doing the dare that way was really, really good. Oh, wow. Unlucky. Yeah, kind of be careful with when you go for these gravity cancel six. Really, really tricky. And sometimes even, not even a good option to go for. Like, if he had spear, generally spears don't really run in on top of you. You know, you went for a gravity cancel neutral six here when he had a spear. Spears don't generally run in on top of you, you know? And like they chase dodge side light, and that side light would have hit you. It's not like your act, your invincibility frames would have lasted so long that the side light would be on top of you, and then you could hit him. So you gotta kind of you gotta think about it like that. Nice. Messed up a little bit of execution. You have a lot of execution errors. Honestly. Oh, that was really good. Okay. Yeah, honestly, you have a lot of execution errors. really good see this is this is what hammers really good at you know basically dominating your space like there when you floated into them you kind of got punished so don't try to float into th them with the hammer it, it's really different than uh, axe like axe can get away with it oh, that was really good there
Okay. Mr. Dunk. Alright, get the neutral sig. Oh, nice chase dodge. Careful, you got no recovery. So those ground pounds were, were, were kind of terrible. And I, I'll show you, I'll I'll show you a good way to use ground pounds. Oh, yeah, you're you, you're just like you're spamming the recovery into them into the stage. And that was that was decently bad. He didn't punish it well, but you you, you spent you you you're doing the spam the recovery into the, the stage again, you know, without waiting to see what he's gonna do. Um. And those ground pounds, I'll, I think I can show you a good way to use ground pounds. You know, at least what I know at the moment. But those ground pounds weren't the thing that you should have did. There was not much space to cover there. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this out. Let's go to the last one. That was another win. Let's go back Three, here. Two, this one. is the next game. So right now you have the general idea of how you want to play hammer. Um, you're just going about it uh, kind of wrong. Oh, that was nice, sick. Okay. Oh, got him worried about the weapon and then throw out the sick. That was really good. So that recovery was fine because he just went for his own recovery. There maybe you could have hold held the ground the like gone for a little bit more uh horizontal horizontal space and then went for the recovery. But you kinda you kind of like you know, kind of sealed your fate by doing the gravity cancel neutral six, so you had no dodge for four and a half seconds. Okay. Crazy reads from both of you guys, but you won. Yeah, that turnaround there is not the best. Yeah, you waited you waited to recovery there, so you didn't get punished that hard. And honestly, if you're gonna use like if you're gonna use recovery to like if you wanna get like the best you can out of your hammer recovery, you kinda wanna use it early. Same thing for Lance. Like the thing is with Lance and Axe, you wanna use your recoveries extremely extremely early when recovering to the stage if you have a long way to go because they get kind of punished you know oh yeah you wanted that falling there but you got it though I hate that too sometimes when you do like you try to get a falling there and it comes out side light all right these dares are really good All right, you're doing with hammer does space control a lot of space, you know, in a very short amount of time. Nice, nice chase dodge, nice air. Okay. All right, so I like it. I'm off the map. Input error. I think he's dead here. If you. Okay, so yeah, he should be dead here. 
All right, so a lot of these matches you won, right? You had two two losses, two wins, or one loss, three wins. Um, I'm wondering what I could say here, man. Basically, you didn't play much hammer. I could do like um, you know, I do have a few more minutes. To do what I to say what I need to say, uh, I'm gonna start off with Taros. Like, uh, I'll do Nash because they're same, they're similar in Hammer and then similar in Axe here. So, give you a general idea of how you wanna play these weapons, or at least what I like to do, at least. Though Taros' strength kind of uh, revolves around if he can land Stomp. Stomp into his sigs are like completely good. And when I say completely good, I mean borderline broken. Borderline broken. Alright, so I'm not gonna like try to focus on any on arm. Just try to get a weapon. So you see how like I have to control this space. You know, I'm not fast falling because I'm not controlling, so it's really bad. Just control the space. You know. That SIG is really good for people that wanna that wanna misstep. A lot of people underestimate the 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 range that uh the range that Axe Air has, it's actually pretty far. Oops, input air. So I might take one of your, uh, might take a, a page out of your book. You see, I kind of, I kind of punished the move. And this is, the, this is the ground pound I'm talking about. He had, he only has one place to go. So I use all of the hitboxes from there. Oops. So you kind of gotta wait, punish what he's trying to do. You know, dunk him a little bit. I don't got a recovery right now. Dodge that. I should have recovered. I don't got a recovery yet. All right, finally got punished. Got hit by the weapon. Didn't really plan for that. It's all right though. I don't really want spears. Not the lesson for now. All right, so we got hammer, right? Try to like control the space input there. You know, you don't want to get too close with a hammer. And always turn around your dares. This is me turning around my dares. If I ha if I have the knowledge to, you know, if I can remember the direction I want to be my my dares to be in. You know, I kind of jumped into the neutral sick there. It's my fault. But it's all right though, we get Axe again. Come in. Got the 
this air. All right, didn't make it back. I could have edge guard hit him, but um, no, this is my first few games. Team my GGs. See if we can get another one in on Taros. We'll, we'll kind of save Nash for the last, for the last, for the last. Or I could just go Axe, right? Yeah, I kind of, I kind of stick with Axe. I think you played a lot more Axe than you did Hammer. On me. So like I said, the 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 side tick the side ticks for Taros are actually really really good. People don't like them, but I think they're quite amazing. Uh you just have to get the right reads, you know? Like if they fuck up with their spacing. You know, my axe is pretty terrible. Uh, there was a couple of times there I could have did down light. Yeah, you, you saw there, I, I kind of pushed my hitbox into him, right? You jump into him and stare. But you you don't want to do that on hammer at least. Oh, he got me. Uh oh, am I dead yet? Nope. We gotta get a new weapon. Let's get the hammer. Show you what I mean by control the space. Right? Control the space. You can maybe even, like, if they want to float around you too much, you can kind of control the space like that. And that's just something I came up with. So, oops. Control the space. They, they get around you, you know. If they try to dodge in, things like that. Right? I just came up with this right now, right? Oh! That was a bad dodge by me. And I might use that later. I think that's so good. So let's get more axe. Oops. Well, you can stop poking me now. I missed. Oops. Player two wins. So yeah, there's this like this really really good thing that you could do. And I just figured it out now. That's like insider tip, man. Um, let's go to training mode. So basically, we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, try to be, try to not spam your recoveries into people. You know, you you will get punished a lot, and you did, right? Uh, when you got hammered, try to keep your distance. You know, unless you're gonna punish. So you can get you can get this like type of feeling here and then like if they get in right you know you can follow this uh type of trend and understand like when you like, let's say you're going for a max trans air you're 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 gonna reach full momentum with the air and you can dodge out of that for a chase dodge so 
if you dodge correctly, I mean, I, I gotta find out the, the timing, you know, so find out the timing. Oops. You know, see, like things like that, that, I think that's so good for Taros right now. It's so like, get full, men get full momentum, and then like, you know, follow up with the chase dodge. Like, whatever chase dodge you might want to get. You might want to do a uh, X pivot with the Sair, or, you know, X pivot with Dare. Or even just like chase dodge, turn around, uh, chase dodge, turn around, Nair. Right? If you get the timing right. You know, things like this. I think that's so good. Even like, even like, fall into it, and then like, if they're too close to you, you know, like fall down. If they get too close, do this sick, pick people up. It has great range, right? If uh, they go for their own falling stair and they drop in front of you, hit them with a side sick. Uh, always keep your dares facing the opponent, right? Depending on how you want to do it, because you might, you might want to go like, you might want to do things like this. Or you might want to do things like this, right? So always keep your dares to your opponent because of how they bounce. If you turn around the dare, they bounce like super high and it's not consistent. Whereas if you keep your opponent, if you hit them with this hitbox, the the dare is extremely consistent and that's why you do it. It's not because of anything else, it's just consistency about where the dare will, where the dare sends them. And that's what you want to go for. You want to go for a consistency. You know, like things like this. He's always going to bounce a certain way. But if I hit it with behind hitbox, then you never know which way he's going to go. Um, honestly, you played the same guy. You played on the same map, uh, you know, with the same legend. I mean, the same legend is good. But you played against the same person. You played on the same map. And... You know, there wasn't really much to take from it. Like you did, a, like I said, you did too many recoveries into the Tori. Um, you had a lot of input errors, so you can you got to work on that. Um, your hammer. You know, I gave you some really good hammer tips. Uh, when you go for when you go for edge guards, try to cover the area that they're gonna go, and don't wait to do the ground pound. Do the ground pound as you like to the area that you want to hit right to the area that you want to cover not don't wait for it because there's a lot of lag on it and then you can always do this thing this is amazing cover the area that they might go and then proceed to cover the wall you know boom now they can't get to the wall you, you block the wall they get past you you cover the wall really good and that's basically all I got to say, man. Um, thanks for sending in the replays. Like I said, guys, uh, if you don't want your name to be disclosed, just tell me in the email. Make sure you guys tell your ELO also, so I can give some, in, you know, get better insight on what's going on here. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for more. Share with all your friends. Share with your clan mates. I don't know if you're in a clan, the Taros that we're talking about today, but uh, make sure you, you tell your clan mates, man. People got to get diamonds to get these rewards, dude. So, like, if you guys looking to get diamond to get these rewards, and you're trying to find out some, uh, you know, try to get better, you know, hit me up, man. These are free lessons, free lessons that you can watch no matter what, you know, anytime you want. Like you, there, you can get like let's say you could pay for a mentor, right? Not even pay for a mentor, get a mentor. You know what they might say, you might forget it, you know, and then you got to go back and say, oh, I forgot it, and then you can't really, you know, they might be like, oh, I don't remember either. But here we have, you know, a video diary, you know, not not a diary, but you know, video evidence, not evidence, really bad words, uh, video. This video, video lesson, right? That you can replay and watch over and over again and try to remember. Oh, what, what did he say? I remember this, but I don't remember what he said before. So, like I said, make sure you share it with all your brawl of friends. This, this lessons are not, are not limited. You can send in more replays if you want. You can, like, let's say you send in a replay. Let's say you email me, and in the email you could put twenty replays. I'll just take three of them for the first day. And then I'll probably make another video if nobody else sends replays in. And then I'll, uh, you know, 
you know, I just keep doing replay. I'll keep doing videos until there's no more replays, you know. But I'm not gonna do uh, a person back to back. I mean, back to back. I'm not gonna make five different videos for one person if I could. If I can prevent it, right? If I can, uh, you know, alternate people, then I will. Uh, but yeah, this is not limited. You guys can do it as much as you want until you guys become, you know, diamond or get to whatever elo that you want to be in. And that's it for today, man. Shout outs to everybody in the chat that's been emailing me. We're getting more and more emails every day. Make sure you guys go follow my Twitter. Um, at 100 followers on my Twitter, I'm doing a community, a community color giveaway on my stream. So make sure you guys tune in for that. And then I'll probably do a community color giveaway on my Twitter also. You know, so yeah, make sure you guys hit me up for that. And I'm out. Salute to you guys. Peace.